And this is Ian Payne on Five Live Sport. Great programme for you tonight. The man who won 10 world titles, he defeated 17 world champions and he's generated more money at pay-per-view than any boxer in history at six different weights. Oscar De La Hoya, the golden boy himself, is in town. Good evening to you. Thank you very much for having me. Um, it really is a, a great pleasure to um, be on your radio. Um, you know... As you all know, um, Amir Khan is fighting Saturday night uh, against Paul uh, McCloskey, and um, it, it really is an honor to um, to be here. It, it really is. Um, you're, in, um, you're in Manchester. We should say not in London. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, not a problem. Have you had a good I, night? I, well, actually, I landed in London, and now I'm in Manchester. Um, he is fighting at the MEN Arena, and, um, you know, there's going to be 18,000 people or probably more um, cheering on for this fight against uh, Paul and uh, and Amir. And just to give you a little fact about how the U.S. is, is perceiving this fight, um, HBO is um, on board. We, uh, we struck a deal with HBO to televise this fight. And when you have HBO... Televis televising such a great card like uh, Amir Khan against uh, Paul, um, it, it goes to show you the quality um, of these two fighters. I mean, you have an undefeated fighter in Paul, you have a great champion in uh, Amir, and I think we're going to have such a wonderful, wonderful uh, event that we're going to be talking about for such a long time. How good, in, in your opinion, and I think we can take your opinion as a pretty good one, because you've done so many great things in the sport. How good a fighter, how great a fighter is Amir Khan, in your opinion, Oscar? Well, let me, let me, let me just put it to you this way. Um, and I don't like to throw greatness and the word great around often. I think, I think in 1992, uh, we, saw, we saw a fighter um, in Barcelona win an Olympic gold medal um, and the golden boy was born um, I was able to win world titles I was able to accomplish a lot of great um, uh, things in the sport um, I really do feel that Amir Khan um, winning the silver medal uh, having to capture the hearts of many people all over the world not just in his uh, in his hometown. Uh, I really do feel in 2004 he really did uh, uh, capture uh, that desire that the fans really want to see, and and that's and that is a great fighter. And I feel that. Are you comparing he, him to you, Oscar? I'm I'm comparing him to me, and then some because when when I was 22 years old, I never could compare myself to the things that he is doing now. Amir Khan is, in his boxing abilities and his presence outside the ring, He's really he really is showing people that not only he's a great fighter inside the ring, but outside the ring he's conducting himself in such a manner that a world champion, not just a world champion, but a great world champion should conduct himself. And I think... As we speak, we are watching history. Saturday night will be such a wonderful event because Paul, Paul does bring a lot to the table. I mean, he's an undefeated fighter, and for an undefeated fighter to fight a great fighter like Amir Khan, it shows you the character of what Paul has. And, and obviously, he does want to be great, Paul. He does want to accomplish his goals of becoming world champion. Um, this is going to be a very tough fight, but with Amir, I think we have something special in our hands. Excellent. Do stay with us. Thank you very much for talking to us, Oscar. Uh, Manchester, uh, as Oscar was saying, is the venue for Amir Khan's defence of his WBA light welterweight belt on Saturday. Our boxing commentator, Mike Costello, is there as well. Good evening, Mike. Hello, Ian. Just put this fight into context for us. Where is this in, in his fights in previous years? How important is it? And where is his career going from here? Well, Amir has been criticised in some quarters for taking on Paul McCloskey, who some say is more than one grade below him. But 
As he left the ring in Las Vegas in December after beating Marcos Maidana in a fight that many claimed was fight of the year in 2010, there were people, including our own co-commentator Richie Woodall, who said that Amir Khan doesn't need too many of those fights during a career. So the plan was always to take a lesser fight this time round, with the eye looking ahead to a unification showdown against an American called Timothy Bradley, possibly in the United States later in the year. But Amir Khan has been talking this week, Ian, about not looking beyond Saturday night, because he remembers September 2008 in the same ring at the MEN Arena when he was knocked out in 54 seconds by Bradis Prescott. And although he took some heavy punishment and came through it against Marcos Maidana, there are still those who believe he's vulnerable when it comes to the chin area. Yeah, with us also here in London, Steve Bunce, who many people will know, talks a lot about boxing, also on a fighting talk. How important is this fight, do you think, Steve, for Amir Khan? Well, first of all, Mike's absolutely right um, in that the Madonna fight will be fight of the year. I think that will be officially announced in about on May the 7th. But, but Madonna going into the fight, a little bit of backstory. He'd he'd won 26 of his 27 wit, 26 of his 27 victories had come via knockout. So it was a sensational, a stunning fight. So after a fight like that, what you want is a homecoming. So what you want for a homecoming is you want a guy that's going to deliver to the table six or seven thousand fans. Tick that off for Paul McCloskey. What you want for your homecoming is a fairly young guy, an unbeaten guy. Tick that off for Paul McCloskey. And then what you also want is a guy that can come into town with all those fans there screaming his name, which will be the case at the weigh-in, and then talk well, tick that off for Paul McCloskey. He is the most fantastic opponent and how people, how anybody can suggest that this fight isn't anything other than a perfect matchup. It's a perfect matchup, Ian. <clears throat> it's, it, you dream of opponents like Paul McCloskey for a homecoming because let me tell you, between the two of us, there's about 30 people they could have got in for this fight. They haven't. They've gone for an unbeaten guy who's going to deliver 9,000 people to the arena and give a mere Khan kittens until it's over. That's fantastic okay really, look, look and, and this is this is oscar de la hoya look listen to me we did a fight in the united states of america um at the mgm grand uh, garden uh marcos maidana against eric morales nobody gave a chance nobody in their right mind gave a chance to eric morales i was fighting for eric morales i was telling people look Eric Morales, after two and a half years of being retired, he is going to possibly beat Maidana after Maidana gave such a wonderful fight to uh, Eric, uh, to, uh, to uh, Amir Khan. Nobody listened. And what did we get? We got an exciting fight, possibly fight of the year for 2011. What did Amir Khan do against uh, uh, Marcos Maidana? Fight of the year in 2010. I really do feel that Paul McCloskey, you can never count out because an undefeated fighter like him, he is going to bring everything to the table. He's going to bring everything. And he is hungry. He is ready. And he's a warrior. And I really do feel that this is, this is going to be a very difficult fight for Amir Khan. Yeah, I think a lot of people would agree with you, Oscar. But, uh, there's been obviously, as always with boxing, there's been a sort of business shenanigans going on. Mike, just explain the difficulties that have been going on financially out of the ring with the televising of this. Yes, this was a fight announced in the middle of February as a pay-per-view event on Sky and for various reasons, most notably an undercard that fell apart almost daily, Sky switched the fight to one of their regular channels, believing it was no longer reasonable to ask viewers to fork out 15 quid a pop and they were also fearing, of course, another nightmare backlash for them like they had after the David Hay against Audley Harrison fiasco last November. Now, Khan's team weren't happy with what they regarded as a down grading in terms of money and status of the fight so they've done a deal instead with another pay-per-view channel the lesser known prime time and eddie hearn the son of barry hearn who's mccloskey's promoter repeated his view today that he believes the move by the khans is commercial suicide but i've been speaking to amir khan this week and he doesn't seem at all bothered he says that the fuss hasn't affected his preparations at all to be honest with you, I've been very calm, uh, very focused on my job. My job is to come on the 16th in the MEN Arena and win the fight. I knew all along the fight was going to be on. There's a lot of hiccups about TV and this and that going on, but you know what? I stayed out of it. I left it with my team. My team's done a great job. Now we're here and the fight's going to be on prime time and I'm just ready to put on a great show on for my fans in the UK. I always said I'm going to come back to the UK. 
and in front of my loyal fans, show up, have a, have a big night of boxing. Even though, you know, I had the US TV pay me more money, there was more demand in America to have me fighting there, but I chose to come home. And there's word here that the switch of channels has cost you in the region of a million pounds, is that right? Yeah, I think um, around that much, yeah. I've, I've just heard uh, briefly off, off one of my teams, but to be honest with you, um, you know, I've got a lot of coverage from America. In America, if I was fighting there, I would have made, you know, a lot more money. But um, like I said, I'm loyal to my fans and I've come home and come to fight in, Eng in England. Like I said, I might be out of pocket for this fight, but this is for my fans. Regardless how much I make, I just love being in the ring and fighting. But emotionally, Amir, is it a problem for you, given that you, you left Las Vegas in December on such a high after one of the fights of the year against Maidana? Yeah, you know, boy, like I said, it's one of them things that happens in boxing and it's happened to me. And, you know, uh, I don't know the full story behind it, but like I said, uh, after, after the fight, I'm going to sit down with my team and see exactly what went on. Do you think you've been affected by a big weekend of football? Manchester United against Man City and your own Bolt Wanderers oh, playing yeah. as well. well. It could be because um, you know you got two teams from Manchester, but to be honest with you, think, thinking of that, you got Stoke, which is not too far from Manchester, which is like an hour away. You got Bolton, you've got Manchester City v Man United in uh, in London. All the foot, most of the football fans are going to be travelling to uh, London. But to be honest with you, we've sold over sixteen thousand tickets here in the MEN Arena, so that just shows how much demand there is for me to fight in uh, in Manchester and in England. Uh, regardless of football being on the same weekend. But, you know, this is one of them things. Um, everything fell on one day. Uh, I would have loved to have gone to watch Bolton Wanderers play on the Sunday, but um, depends how I feel about the, you know, how the fight goes on everything. I was hoping it was a week, following week, but it happened on the same weekend. That's Amir Khan just explaining the financial intricacies of this fight and obviously with his beloved Bolton playing and United against City, as he's saying, I mean, he has sold a lot of tickets. Um, Oscar de la Hoya is with us, Golden Boy Promotions. Oscar, this fight, uh, I, does it worry you that all these shenanigans, these business stuff has gone on before or not at all? No, no, not, not at all. I've been a promoter now for... Uh, Seven years. We started Golden Boy Promotions uh, seven years ago, and now we are uh, the dominant uh, player in, in, in the business today. Um, we feel that if there if there isn't any type of conspiracy, if there isn't any type of uh, uh, you know something going on, yeah. we, you know, I mean. It, it, then it's not an event. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look, look. You're boxing, right. boxing always has its controversy. Okay, whether it's good or bad, that's just the way any sport is. We feel, first of all, that Amir Khan, we stand behind him on a hundred percent. What his team did, okay, he did, and we stand by him a hundred percent. Sky Sports has been the dominant player forever. And now if, if they want to take that route and go uh, with prime time, then we're going to stand with Amir Khan because we believe in our fighters. We have to understand that Amir Khan, you guys have a very special talent in Amir Khan for the next 10, 15 years. And we want to be there as Golden Boy Promotions. We want to be there to build him as a worldwide star. Do I feel that Amir Khan can be bigger than Manny Pacquiao or a Floyd Mayweather or an Oscar De La Hoya? Absolutely. I feel that Amir Khan can be bigger, if not better, than uh, all the fighters I mentioned. Amir Khan is very talented. He's very dedicated. And yes, he, he does not have anything to do with what's been going on outside the ring. Let us handle that. Let us handle the politics. The politics is very dirty. The politics is very shady. But as a fighter, Amir Khan, look, he's fighting for the fans. He's fighting for the people. And he believes in his people. And uh, I, I feel that uh, on Saturday night, I don't say that he's going to win. But I think we're, gonna, we're, in, we're in for a great fight. Okay.